Welcome back! We are on a quest to find Clara's briefcase so we can open it up and get the necklace that belonged to Charlotte inside of it. And Jocelyn gave us a clue here to help us out. And she drew this pretty well. Nice shading. Um, apparently there's a combination lock on the outside and we have to press certain segments of these eights here, I guess. And, uh... In order to figure out what those segments are, we've got to find out the answers to these uh, clues here. So let's start with information that we can find out uh, that's close to here. There's something here about the factory accident, and something here about Harper causing injuries. And I believe that information is back at the crypt in that newspaper article. Let's read that real quick. Let's see... Where is... Few minor injuries, here we go. Yeah, see, no major injuries, so we got the answer to that one. And is there information about how much... I thought there was information about how many workers died in the accident, but I guess it's not here. Or I'm just missing it. Okay, well we'll find that. Let's see where we can go next. If Cornelia died in 1924, then turn on 3. If not, then turn on 4. Well, we got the family tree here with the uh, birth and death years. And Cornelia died in 1971, so she didn't die in 1924. That's good to know. Um, let's see, there's information about the Grey Lady, and that's in the parlor. Charlotte's Masquerade Ball, uh, we can find that in a room. And the wedding stuff has to do with that, uh, or we can find out that information in the correspondence note that was in Jocelyn's backpack. So let's go down to the cellar first. I'm kind of surprised we haven't seen the ghost in that room. Okay. Whoops. Yeah, that's right. Um, Colton was the one who wanted fried chicken. Uh, whereas they were going to have all this fancy stuff and all that. So they did not have fried chicken at the wedding. Or they weren't supposed to have fried chicken, rather. Okay, let's go... Um, I guess we could have gone and read about the Grey Lady first. But I'm going to go up to Charlotte's. Or, yeah, Charlotte's room. Which is up here. And, let's see, that information was inside this. And the ball is on the 30th of October, not the 31st. Okay. Hmm. Let's see here. So what is the one thing that we're missing now? Oh wait, the workers were, um, that was the, uh, 54 souls, right? Wasn't it 54? Let's see, yeah, it was 54. So yeah, 54 workers did die in the factory accident, that was in the graveyard. Okay, so we now know the answers to, to everything except Bell Boy. So let's go down and check out the, uh... Grey Lady book, or the Women Spies book, and Clara is still here. It looks like we might have to go behind the painting so that we could watch for her when she leaves. Uh, who's writing that? That's kind of creepy. Espionage in a bonnet. Okay, that's what it was called. Let's see. And the thing was, Bell Boyd was a Confederate spy. Well, she was technically a spy for... Yeah, she was a spy for the Confederacy, right? Pretty sure she was. Okay, based on that information. Let's see, Bell Boyd was a Confederate spy. Three and seven. No, three and five, okay. So three and five, if not, then four and seven. All right, well, I'm pretty sure based on the book that she was. 
So let's go out and sneak up on Clara by going through this passage up here. Uh. What do you want from me? Looks like the Harper. Coast is clear. Time to snoop. Looks like Harper is helping us out by doing some uh, singing there. Unfortunately, we've got only a limited amount of time to do this Locked. puzzle. I need to figure out the right combination. Thankfully, we've got the combination. Let's see. Three and five are this and this. And let's see. October 31st, it's not. So let's turn on two, which is the left top one. Cornelia died in 90, 20, 1924. She did not. So let's turn on four, which is the middle one. Looks like a backwards four. 54 workers died in the factory accident. They did. 9 and 13. So left top, middle, bottom. Or er, bottom right. And let's see. Fried chicken or wedding? No. 11. That's the middle one here. And Harper caused major injury. She did not. Turn on 14. That's the bottom. Kind of looks like an incomplete 5. Got it. Sweet. There's the necklace. This must be what Jessalyn was looking for. Excellent. Can we look at it? Oh, I guess we can't look at everything else. All right. Okay, okay, okay. We are we are good to go. We got the necklace. Let us go back down to the cellar and tell Jessalyn that we were able to finish everything that she asked us to. Okay. Harper's gone. Hey. We got the necklace. I found the necklace. Good. Wait, shoot. It's missing a front piece. I need you to find it as fast as you can. It triggers the opening mechanism. This necklace was used by spies in the Civil War. If you open it without the missing piece, it shreds the message inside. The well, thankfully, we've got the missing piece. I found the locket. Here. I can't open it. I'm going to need your help. This looks like it matches one of the notes I found. It does match one of the notes we found, doesn't it? It matches this. Um, this thing here has, let's see, six, seven, eight, nine, ten buttons on it with M R E T L N A H V I as the letters. And there's some clues here Mom 1867 and Right. So what are we supposed to do with this? Well, what we're supposed to do is we're supposed to use the family tree uh, to find out who Mom is, what happened in 1867, and who Wright is, because you, as you can see here in the note, there is a W that's kind of faded out. And then, uh, presumably, we can spell out the answers using the letters. Thankfully, we got the arrow provided as a reference, which helps out a lot. So let's see, Mom. Charlotte's mom would be Mariana, so let's spell out Mariana. So that would be this button, so let's see, top and then this, that. Okay, let's just do this one at a time. Okay, Mary, and then A, N, and A. Okay, that's not so bad to remember. Aha! One part of the... Uh, or two parts of the, the, the necklace have been unlocked, or the locket. Let's see, the next one is 1867. So is it anyone who, bore, who was born or died in 1867? Here we go, Herium Thornton. Okay, so let's spell out Herium. Whoops, this one. H-I-R. Okay, let's just do those first. A M, A M. Okay. Good. All right, we got two more down and one more to go. And the final clue was right. Is there anybody with the last name right on the list? Emmeline. Good. All right. So let's spell Emmeline. That would be E M E L. Okay. E M E L. I N. Okay, not difficult to remember. Whoops, wrong last one. Okay, E, 
M E L. Okay. I N E. Okay, it was the last one I got wrong. That's it. Awesome. Here you go. What's it say? I can't. I'm gonna go see her myself. Oh. So Jesselyn has left to find Clara, presumably. So what's here? Whoa. If Jesselyn confronts Clara, things could get dangerous fast. That's not good. So I'm guessing Charlotte wrote this. Clara can't be trusted. Harper needs to know the truth. Align the notches to the outside levers and lock the levers according to the following. Or wait, no, Jesselyn wrote this. I guess she just left it for us. So what was inside the necklace? Hmm, okay. Alright, so let's see what we can do next here. We should explore what's inside here. We haven't even looked in here yet. I need to find a way to light the tunnel first. Okay, so we need to find a way to light this up first. And we saw a generator out here, so maybe we can use that to solve the problem. Once we stop rotating. Yeah, was it this here? If I can get this working, it should light up the tunnel. All right, cool. So where can we look in? Sigh, here we go. The motor won't work unless I find a way to move that ball bearing down into the shaft. Okay, so we got a puzzle. And we need to get the ball bearing down here, but we got these flaps here that open and close. When the ball bearing goes through them, which complicates things a little bit. Let's see what we can do about this. I, I don't know why we just can't pick it up and just throw it down the shaft. I mean, aren't we kind of just rolling it along anyway? Okay, we have to go back this way. Okay. Gotcha. I like this. I like mazes. Mazes are cool. Here we go. Sweet. And we have power. Alright, we got some light. So where does this go? Oh, okay, so this is where Harper went earlier. Okay, so what does that accomplish, though? Well, we can't go back through there. Can't check that off yet. We don't know what was inside the lockets, though. Did that. Did that. That's done. Alright, so now we just have to discover the secret of the locket's contents. Can we go back to the parlor and see if Jesselyn and Clara are having a big confrontation, or...? Not. Nah, let's see, is Colton... Colton's here. Okay, let's try talking to him. I think it's time I tell you about that thing I forgot. The night of the fire. I was there. Oh. I found Charlotte leaving the crypt. She was really upset. Hmm. I must have said something to her because she came over to me. I could tell she wanted to say something. But it was like someone took her voice. Kind of like Jocelyn. She gave me this big hug and ran off. And she gave me this. I think she wants me to give this to you. Dig behind the next symbol in the sequence. I wish I had known what to do that night. I wish I could have saved her. You were just a kid. Yeah, and I acted like a kid and ran away. And I hid. I closed my eyes and wished with all my might that someone would make everything all right again. I never told anyone this, but I think I saw someone else there. The fire wasn't an accident. Yeah. And now, I'm afraid whoever did it took Jess. Well, thankfully Jess uh, hid out on her own accord, which is kind of a relief. I'd better get going. Bye. Okay. 
So now we've got a clue here. And it says to dig behind the next symbol in the sequence. And we saw some symbols down in the tunnel downstairs. So let's try digging behind one. This looks like a pretty good one. Let's see what happens when we dig. Wow! Okay. Somehow the ghost comes out and kills us. That's kind of weird. Okay, so let's think this through. So what is the pattern here? Well, if you look really carefully, you can kind of tell that each of these are numbers that are mirrored against each other. So, this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so presumably the next one will be 6. Well, that one that we just saw there is certainly not it, and neither is that. So let's go in here. That's 9, so that's definitely not it. There we go, right here. Found something. Aha. Cool. A hidden safe. A safe. Sweet. We can't open it though. I bet there's a sequence to push these in. Oh boy, we have got a puzzle to solve. But we'll have to do it in the next video.